let's study about the RMS value of current in rectifiers. One by one, let's take up. First, we'll calculate the RMS value of current output in half wave rectifier. We know that in half wave rectifier, the output is only corresponding to one half cycle of the alternating current, and the, the variation of current with time in the output of half wave rectifier can be seen in this picture. And here we can also write the function of current, which can be written as I m sine omega t, where the value of time is for the first half cycle that is from 0 to pi by omega, and the value of current remains 0 for the next half cycle that is from pi by omega to 2 pi by omega. Now, in this situation, we can calculate the value of RMS current. Which is given by the expression you already studied in case of time varying currents. This will be 1 by t integration from 0 to t. Here we will integrate it from pi by omega only because no current exists from pi by omega to 2 pi by omega. This will be I m square sin square omega t dt. So, first we are calculating the average of a square of current and then taking its root. So, when we substitute the values, this will be, if we substitute the time period of cycle that is 2 pi by omega, this will be 1 upon 2 pi by omega. Integration from 0 to pi by omega, I m square, sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 dt. And now, uh, we can write here, this will become I m square omega upon 2 pi integration if we execute for 1 by 2, it will be 1 by 2 t minus integration of cos 2 omega t will be sin 2 omega t by 2. So, this will become sin of 2 omega t by 4 omega and uh, limits will substitute from 0 to pi by omega. Now, when we substitute the limits, there is also a sign of a square root over here. So, on substituting the limits, the second term will become 0 because it is sine 2 pi and sine 0. This will be vanished and will be getting only half pi by omega. So, it will be under the root I m square omega by 2 pi and this will be pi by 2 omega. So, in this situation, this omega also gets cancelled out. Pi also gets cancelled out. The result we are getting for RMS value of current will be I m by 2. That is the root mean square value of current for a half wave rectifier. On the next sheet, we will continue the calculation of RMS value of current for a full wave rectifier. Let us calculate the RMS value of current in the output of a full wave rectifier. For a full wave rectifier, we know that uh, the output is uh, a pulsating voltage, pulsating unidirectional voltage for all half cycles of the AC. Here you can see this uh, picture gives you the idea about uh, how current varies with time in the output of full wave rectifier, which we already discussed. Here we can also write down the function of current, which can be given as uh, I m sine omega t. For the first half cycle that is from t more than 0 to pi by omega, and uh, the value of current is reversed, this will be minus I m sin omega t, which varies from uh, t pi by omega up to the complete cycle that is up to 2 pi by omega. If we wish to calculate the value of RMS current, in this situation RMS current uh, can be given for half cycle only because whatever RMS value of current exists for half cycle, the same will remain constant. The same will continue for the next half cycle because the function remains same. So, in this situation, the value of RMS current can be given as root of, uh, we take the function to be 1 by t integration 0 to t time function as square dt. This is the expression we use for calculation of RMS current if we substitute. 
then it will be for half cycle we are calculating it as 1 by pi by omega integration from 0 to pi by omega i m square sin square omega t dt. Now in this situation if we just integrate the expression before that uh, we just simplify it, it is i m square omega by pi integration from 0 to pi by omega sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 dt. Now on integrating we will get uh, this root of i m square omega by pi 1 by 2 on integrating this will become 1 by 2 t minus cos 2 omega t on integration will be sin 2 omega t by 2 omega. So this will be sin of 2 omega t by 4 omega. We apply the limits of substitution from 0 to pi by omega. On substituting the limits here we can see the second term will vanish because sin 2 pi is 0 and sin 0 is also 0. So the final result will be having root of i m square omega upon pi and after substitution of limits so will be having pi by 2 omega. In this situation this omega and pi gets cancelled out and the result of RMS value here will be i m by root 2 which itself is a very useful relation. Always keep this result of RMS value for a full wave rectifier output which is given as i m by root 2. You can also recall that this was the same RMS value for the normal alternating current. So in this situation as we are calculating the mean of a squares it won't make any difference whether the second half cycle is positive or negative on a squaring it will always be giving us the same magnitude.